Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's Bird of Pine video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Fair and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll have a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the beginning of June. I shall get on that for you in a moment. To say that first video is there, it was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've also released a detailed European outlook. Check out those two vids if you would like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on all our stages of content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. So, guys, well, it's what a lovely day today here at Taz. It's clear blue skies, and it's very warm as well. So, uh, real, real summer-like weather. Get out and enjoy it if that's what you've been waiting for. Okay, searching temperature has updated, and we are now sitting at 12.8, 1.7 degrees above 61 to 19.90 average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 8th of May. So, for the first week of the month, we're about getting over 2 degrees above the um, old and cold temperature average. We're going to carry on rising over the next few days with this warm weather. So, these were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, the red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. And we're starting off above average at the moment. We're going to stay above average as well over the uh, next few days, peaking up through the weekend, where we're very close to 10 Celsius at 850 HPA. Now, after that, though, it looks like we're going to see the uh, upper air temperatures coming down into the early part of next week, cool down taking place, and then hovering around with just a little bit above long-term averages through the third week and into the final week of May. And precipitation-wise, well, lots of dry weather through the next two, three days, but as we get later on into the weekend, I'm free to start next week. <coughs> so sorry, so sorry, everybody, it turns more unsettled then. From about the beginning of next week onwards, we have the days just by returning, and then they carry on into the uh, third and into the final week of the month, actually. So I would say what the ensemble graph is really telling us from that and from that is to make the most of the next few days because from there and from there, things are looking a lot more unsettled, I think. Temperature anomaly is from the night to 17th of May coming out above average. Absolutation anomaly is from night to 17th of May average or a little bit wetter than normal. Latest wind from that from earthnoschool.net shows that we're under an area of high pressure to pressure today and that is the reason that it's mostly dry sunny and warm right so let's start going through chart data then this have latest uk met euro run is looking big night on sunday high pressure slipping eastwards low pressure out in the atlantic and we're drawing up a southerly to southeasterly flow then uh, still warm and mostly dry into the weekend, but notice this trough down to the southwest as we go into Monday. That's developing into an area of low pressure. So clearly there's a breakdown in the uh, weather pattern taking place. And by the time we get through the midnight Tuesday, we've got quite a deep low just to our southwest. That will bring wet and windy weather northwards and eastwards across the country. And although we do keep wind in from a southerly southeast direction through much of next week, so temperature should hold up okay. Um, it certainly looks a lot more unsettled with these areas of low pressure bringing bouts of rain. I can't again show that high pressure slipping eastwards on Sunday, low pressure forming to the south and the west. By the time you get through to midnight Tuesday, we're under a trough of low pressure then with showers and or long spells rain forming an area of low as we go through the middle part of next week. So again, looking unsettled and showery under that trough of low pressure. The GFS 6Z, no KMA today. Uh, GFS 6Z, again, showing that high pressure slipping eastwards on Sunday with an area of low pressure developing out to the west by Monday. Then we're under what looks a bit like a dartboard. Although <laughs> by the time you get through to Tuesday, that will bring some quite wet and uh, unsettled weather with it as well. And then we keep that to trough of low pressure going through into the middle of the second half next week. So cool and showering 
um, up to uh, the beginning of next weekend. In fact, into next weekend, day 10 is the 19th of May, so the 19th of May, and we're still under that trough of low pressure then. Beyond that, though, the high pressure from these all start to make uh, a bit of a comeback. So, uh, the top two turby main takes another turn as we go further on with the GFS Midnight Run as a ridge of high pressure then starts building uh, across the country. And that should uh, bring mostly dry and quite warm weather then as we go on towards the final week of the month. So, high and dry there into the last week of May. The unsettled spell next week, therefore, not lasting all that long with the GFS. Midnight run. Let's see how the six day compare. So again, we've got uh, uh, the high pressure slipping eastwards there into northeastern parts of Europe on Sunday with low pressure developing to both south and also to the west. Quite a deep area of low then sitting over top of the country through the early part of next week. Bit of a dartboard, 990 millibars, spells of rain in that area of low pressure. And we keep that trough of low then going right way through up towards um, day 10. By day 10, again, just a bit of a sign of higher pressure beginning to start getting going again, this time over Scandinavia. But much more flimsy than the midnight run. So the 6 day keeps things relatively unsettled through to the end of the run. Again, 25th of May as far as we get to. Uh, we just keep an influence of low pressure there with the 6 day. So beyond day 10, a little bit uncertain uh, what's going to happen. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe and show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and Weather We have to show everybody for doing that for us. That's incredible. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, GM again. Got high pressure sitting over to the east country on Sunday. Low pressure out in the Atlantic. Go through to the early part of next week. Increasing influence from low pressure, especially for England and Wales. Bring some wet weather in with it. That low eventually gets out of the way as we go through to around days 8, 9, 10. Although, quite a significant feature through Germany and into eastern parts of France with a strong east northeast wind. So that brings wet weather into southern and southeastern region, the north of the northeast, mainly uh, dry. Probably a bit of a chill to that northeast wind as well, I would have thought. And then finally got the ECM. Once again, that high pressure is slipping on Sunday. So that by Monday, low pressure takes over. Low pressure right over top of country by Tuesday. And then into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All looking rather showery and unsettled, really. A little bit on the cool side as well. By around day 10, just a bit of a hint that high pressure is going to try and re-establish from the uh, Azores. Oh, I will definitely say next week going to have a more unsettled look to it. But there are a few hints here about by sort of days 10 to 12, we might start to go back towards higher pressure. This is the precipitation broadcast based on that ECM run. We're into Medjerat.com. Loads of dry weather to come over the next two or three days, of course. The change begins to happen as we go through Sunday with some showers starting to break out. One or two of those could be a bit thundery. And then into Monday, we've got wet weather piling in from the Atlantic. So Monday, obviously, a much more unsettled day with not just showers, but outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain, likely. Uh, and let's say it's unsettled, showery, into the middle part of next week as well. But as I look toward day 10, we find some of those showers beginning to uh, ease back a little bit. Uh, these are actually on the table. Vimby ECM on Thomas Day 4, Day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 19th of May. 16 members of the ECM on Thomas with high pressure of Scandinavia. Winds coming in from the east. Should be mainly dry, but could be um, a little bit on the cool side with that easterly uh, flow there. We've got 11, including the operational run. With high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. That's more westerly. It should be relatively warm, I would have thought, in the south. We've got another 11 with low pressure in the Atlantic. So that's going to be bringing unsettled conditions in from the west. We've got nine with high pressure up towards Iceland. Low pressures over France. Winds will be coming in from an easy direction. Westest weather with that is into the south. And then we've got four with high pressure to the north. And a bit of a trough down to the south. Most of the options seem to involve some sort of influence from high pressure, but how that relates to low pressure may be seen to be time. These are the options that we've got. It will go to the 24th of May. 20 members of the ECM ensemble then have high pressure back over Scandinavia, mostly dry and probably quite warm with winds in from an east or south east direction. Then we've got 16 with high pressure to the south, and then we've got 15 with low pressure 
around Iceland and winds coming in from a westerly direction. So a range of options. Um, but I think we could well see high pressure coming back, actually, as we get beyond around day sort of 8, 9 and 10. Step SB2 finally, a 500 millibar height, and I break down into week to period. So the first week period will take us from the 9th to 15th of May. Next week sees high pressure over and to the east of the country, lower pressure out to west. So, uh, well, we know, but it gets a bit more unsettled next week, but it doesn't really show that. <laughs> so we'll go on week two. This is the 16th to the 22nd of May. High pressure being over Scandinavia, low pressure down towards Spain. Winds coming in from a southeasterly uh, direction. It should be mostly warm anyway. Week three will be the 23rd, 29th of May. Low pressure just to west of the country. That's more unsettled. Obviously, winds off from the Atlantic. And finally, week four will be the 30th of May to 5th of June. High pressure then up toward northern Scandinavia. Low pressure in the Atlantic, probably into western parts of Europe as well. Uh, but should relatively be warm all the time with winds coming from southerly or south east So I've been quite a warm outlook, kind of alternating between drier and wetter periods, really. Nothing overly dramatic happening. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for, for doing that. And why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals whether it's ask them to subscribe too. That will help to get us to 18.2k. We need to put on 40 subscribers now to get to 18.2k. So if you could give us a sub to your friends and family to subscribe, it would be incredible. And we will thank you so much for doing that. Uh, right, nice short 10 to 14 day of today. Uh, but I just want to get out here and enjoy the sunshine. Um, no, uh, just tell us, have another chance tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, Jamie Friday, and a 10 to 14 day here. So, uh, come back tomorrow for the next batch of updates. But for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.